Muy buenos días, eh, nos encontramos hoy con Joanny Kleipas. Ella es una científica estadounidense del Centro Nacional de Investigación Atmosférica en Boulder, Colorado. Ella además ha conducido investigación sobre corales por más de 30 años y actualmente está tratando de encontrar soluciones para la disminución de corales aquí en Costa Rica. Ella es directora de la organización Racing Coral y hoy vamos a conversar sobre eh, los proyectos que tiene con el programa Adaptados de Fund de Cooperación. Joanny, eh, por favor, ¿podría conversar un poquito sobre eh, qué es Racing Coral? Racing Coral uh, is an NGO that was officially started in 2019 to um, restore coral reefs in a really uh, holistic way and in ways that benefit both the coral reefs and the people that depend on them. We work in Costa Rica in two places. We work on the Pacific Coast uh, in a bay called Golfo Dulce, which is in the southern part of the country. We also work in the Caribbean, primarily in Cahuita National Park. Johnny, can you provide an overview of the current uh, coral restoration program, please? Currently, our restoration project, uh, in both places, we work extensively with people as much as we can. So because of that, we've planted thousands of corals now. Uh, most of them have done really well. We have more than 80% survival rate amongst those corals. And we're discovering a lot about how to make those corals more resilient and on both coasts. What are some techniques and methodologies that you use in your project? Right now, we rely on simple fragmentation techniques. So depending on the coral, we either break a piece off of the coral or break several pieces off of a coral and then grow those in underwater nurseries. So that's the most basic way we do it. These are very simple structures. You can use hardware materials from any store to build them. Uh, and you basically, you just grow small fragments of corals. And we create thousands of those and then we plant them back out onto the reef, again with very basic techniques. This project is a way to engage more people into the consequences of climate change. And so this, ex this sort of exposes them not only to the consequences of climate change, but to solutions that we should be in there trying to work to make a difference and that it's important that we do try and, and do what we can and learn as much as we can. Can you speak about your collaboration with local stakeholders? Thanks to Fundo Cooperación, they gave us uh, the trust and the money to develop a coral gardeners program. And that is um, a program where we identify uh, local people to attend a pretty challenging class. It's two weeks and includes a lot of classroom and it includes a lot of work in the water. There is sometimes a misconception that is, this is a very beautiful, sexy thing to do, but really it's hard work and it takes a lot of tenacity. And so I think that's where groups like Funo Cooperación and other groups that support this work alongside of us, you know, partnerships are very important to stick with us to do the same sort of thing. It's like replanting a forest and then a forest fire burns it down. You have to have the understanding that it's important to keep that forest going and to start over and replant the trees and keep it going. It's the same thing with all of our ecosystems. Joni, thank you very much for your time. This is Joni Kleipas, director of Rising Coral. Thank you so much, it's been a real pleasure.